What is up guys? It is Equinox Prodigy here back with another Knights and Dragons video. Um, in this one we're going to be enhancing the Avian Aegis. Um, I don't know how high we're going to get it, but we do have 49 air fusion boosts, 4 earth fusion boosts, and 1 spirit um, along with a bunch of other miscellaneous armors as you can tell. Um, I'll probably feed these magicians and nemesis in there as well because I don't really need them. And then as you can see some two stars yeah so we're gonna use the fusion boost last but we're of course gonna start with all these armors because who likes basic armors nobody so and I'll also go through the uh, transformations with you guys and I've heard this armor I heard the dragon forge are bitch to level up like a lot of them uh, take a lot more than like look at that it's only level two right there so we got four wind basic armors level three sea foam in there level four more sea foam armors Level 4 again. Yeah, like, normally an epic would already be, like, level, maybe, like, level 12. I don't know, this thing's level, like, 5, though. I mean, it is pretty powerful armor, but... I don't know. I don't think it should take like this much to level it up, like level 6 really. I mean it's worth it for the stats though. And it's like a new tier. But look at that, I really like the shield, it's like a, it's like an avian head, a hawk head or something. But I needed an air epic so I'm really glad that I got this air dragon forged. Um, it's pretty awesome. God, these stats are ridiculous. Like, max, I think the regular version's like 24 something, 26 something. Like, damn, that's pretty good. Re equip. So, we got a bunch of air one stars right here, so hopefully, this will help the leveling process. But I'm basically just trying to get rid of these armors been waiting for an armor to enhance like this with all these like air Atlantean adventures or whatever <laughs> obviously it isn't leveling this avian agus up very much though 11 yeah we definitely will not max this thing I've heard it takes like over 150 like fusion boosts like of that element so if this is air if I put in a hundred and fifty air fusion boosts it would maybe be maxed like that is so much XP I don't really have much else to put these armors in though so that's good that like I'm not wasting them all because uh, oops because I already uh, maxed my Mage Bane off screen, so that's nice and maxed. Um, I didn't realize that Mage Bane was actually like so good. Like when I fused it, I was like, I have no idea what the stats are in, on this are. And then I looked them up, and they were like 2282, 1804, and I was like, damn. I'm glad I got that. It's a lot better than my Crystal Double Plate was. level 17 here um, I'll stop for the I don't know if I already said this but I said I'll stop for the uh, transformations to show you guys um, let me let me go ahead and show you what it looks like right now so that's what it's looking like right now pretty nice uh, it's got the helmet I like the sword and the shield a lot um, I just threw two like random amulets on there but as you can tell, the stats already at level 18 are 15, 28, and 16, 83. Wow, that's pretty nice.
especially for the level it's at. Oops, I do not want to combine that. Avian Agus. Alright, so... Ember Steel, two Flowstone, and a Molten Shroud. There is the second transformation already. It's looking pretty badass. Let's go ahead and look at it. Um, as you can tell, the uh, head. Let's look at it like uh, on my night first. Uh, you can see the shield a little bit better. Um, wait a second. Do I have a cape on this? No, I don't. So it actually has kind of its own cape going right now. Um, as you can tell, the. Uh, Armor got a little more intricate. Uh, looks like got some shoulder pads. Uh, there's like some light coming off the helmet. The helmet got a little more intricate. Uh, the sword got more detailed, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, and the shield also kind of grew some like hawk feathers coming off the back. So that is pretty dope looking right now. At the f um, I don't know what transformation that. It's like the first, I guess. Technically, isn't like the second. Because isn't the first transformation when it's at like level 0 to 20. So I guess that's second transformation. Yeah. Because next is at 50. Yeah. So. After I use one more. Um, after I use one more. Yeah. One more lightning lord. And then. I'm down to my fusion boost. Because I'm going to save those. Two four stars for. Uh, a. Like fun with fusion episode. There's level 24. And then we'll just power feed these fusion boosts in there. See where we can get it. Um, I'm really glad that the uh, raid gave me so many fusion boost armors. It's pretty awesome. But it was level 21, I think, when we started putting these fusion boosts in. So let's see how many levels we can get with, like, over 50 fusion boosts. Um, level 39. Oops. We've got 31 left, and it's level, like, 30, probably, like, 41 now. 42, almost 43. Stats are looking real nice. There's 45. I believe if we use like 8 more fusion boosts, we can see the final transformation. Um, yeah, we should be able to see the final transformation after these, so let's go ahead and see. Um, yeah, there you go. It just transformed. As you can tell, uh, the armor is looking really cool. The helmet is really like sleek. I like the design. As you can see, the shoulder pads have some like wings coming off them, and the shield looks a little more badass. The hawk got a red eye. Um, some more design going on in there. Let's go ahead and look what it looks like on my knight. Oh, that's awesome. That's just awesome. And look at those stats already. Wow, the sword. I love the sword on this armor so much. I just think it looks really cool. Like. Just this big giant sword. So I'm getting down there on money. 50. Need some more gold. Yeah, I don't even know if we're gonna get past like to 70. There's almost 60. Yeah, we're gonna maybe get it to like 65, I'm guessing. 63 and then that. So this is these are the last armors I'm putting in here right now. And let's see what level it's getting to. I'm guessing about 65. Um, no, 64. Wow. But as you can see, the stats are 2034 and 2235 at level 64. And it's looking pretty dang awesome. So let's go ahead and see what the stats are on my knight. Um, these are commander stats, and it's 
2800 and 2900 on my main knight at level like 64. So that's looking. Oh, wait. We have a nemesis right here. What the heck? What the heck? Put that nemesis in there real quick because I don't need the nemesis. Probably won't add like anything to the armor. Be quick. And. Probably will still be level 64. Yeah. Give like 24 hex speed. Okay. But yeah. So stats are looking real nice. Um, I'm liking this armor a lot. Um, uh, for now, I'm just going to put it on my. Well, here. Put it on my Wind Knight. And then put Mage Bane on my main. So. There's that amulet. Or here. Let's just put all defense. Because this is a defensive armor. Actually, hmm, didn't I get it? Three star. Oh yeah, that's that. Bam, and then yeah. Wait, what do I want here? One forty nine. So there you have it. That's at level sixty something. Those are the stats on there. Um, let me go ahead and put Mage Main on. This and 169 and oh, I got another. I got one that's higher. So those are my knights for right now. Um, Earth Warden, Stalwart, Avian, Aegis, and Mage Bane. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of enhancing the Avian Aegis. And um, yeah, make sure and leave in the comments what your guild placed in the raid if you haven't done it on another video already. And yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And as always, this is Equinox Prodigy. Peace.